Hello, I'm Dr. Payal Dande. Welcome to the learning episode of Bee Farm under the subject Pharmacognosy with the topic Identification of Plant Constituents Part 2. In Part 1 video lecture, we have discussed about the plant metabolites, the significance of primary plant metabolites and secondary metabolites with the specific relevance of secondary metabolites being utilized as drugs. Further, we also discussed about the identification test of carbohydrates and glycosides. To continue further with the identification test of various other phytoconstituents, let us discuss them in our part 2. Let us first start with the alkaloids. We have several tests to identify the presence of alkaloids in plant extract. The major one in that is Dregendorf test. Over here, the reagent which we use is known as potassium bismuth iodide. When we use this reagent with the test solution, we have the presence of red precipitate. If we find the presence of red precipitate, then we can say that the alkaloids are present. That means alkaloids react with this reagent known as potassium bismuth iodide to give reddish brown precipitate. The next in line we have Meyer's test. The reagent which we use over here is known as potassium mercuric iodide. Potassium mercuric iodide will react with alkaloids and give cream precipitate. That means if we add this reagent to the test solution and it uh, gives white or creamish precipitate, then you can say that the alkaloids may be present in your plant extract. Similarly, another test which we have is known as Wagner's test. Over here, we use iodine potassium iodide and this once again reacts with the alkaloid to give reddish brown precipitate. So in your extract, if you find on adding this reagent, the presence of reddish brown precipitate, then you may say that the alkaloids are present in the plant extract. To detect the alkaloids in the plant extract, we can also use Hager's test, which uses picric acid solution. So on addition of picric acid solution to the test solution, if you get yellow precipitate, it indicates the presence of alkaloids in the plant extract. We can also use the tannic acid. If we add tannic acid solution to the test solution and if we get the presence of buff color, that means the buff color appears on addition of tannic acid, then it may indicate the presence of alkaloids in your plant extract. So these are the major tests which we use to identify the presence of alkaloids in plant drug powder or plant extract. Further, we are going to discuss about the chemical tests which are being utilized for identification of phytosterols. Phytosterols in plant are present in two forms. One with the steroidal nature and another with the triterpenoid structure. The major important test which is, be, which is used for identification of phytosterols is called as liberman birchard test. In this test, you have to first make sure that you dry the extract, the alcoholic extract on the water bath and then add chloroform to it. Take this chloroform solution for the test and add few drops of acetic anhydride, boil and allow it to cool. After cooling, add concentrated sulfuric acid from the side test tube. If you see a brown ring appearing at the junction and the upper layer turning green, then you may say that your extract contains triterpenoids. And if the layer turns to red, then it indicates the presence of steroids. Similarly, we have another test known as Salkowski test, which we use for the identification of phytosterols. In this, we will be taking the chloroform test solution and we will add 
concentrated sulfuric acid from the side test tube. If you get the red color at the lower layer, that then it indicates the presence of steroids. And if you get the yellow lower layer, then it indicates the presence of triterpenoids. There is a generalized test which we start with, which is known as sulfur test. If we, over here, we just have to take a little sulfur powder and add to the test tube. If it sinks in the bottom, there are chances that your test extract contains phytosteroids. Now coming to the next, that is the detection of tannins, which are the polyphenolic compounds. First, we are going to see the ferric chloride test, which is actually meant to distinguish between the two types of tannins which are present based on its hydrolysis. So one is called as hydrolyzable tannins, the one which gets hydrolyzed easily, and another which is known as condensed tannins, which resist to hydrolysis. Okay, to identify the two different types, we simply have to take the test solution and add ferric chloride solution to it. If you get blue color, then it indicates the presence of hydrolyzable tannins. And if you get dark green or greenish brown or black color, then it indicates the presence of condensed tannins. The darker the color, the more the tannins which must be present in your plant extract. The next we have lead acetate test. Over here to the test solution, we have to add lead acetate solution. And if you find the presence of white precipitate, that means if the white precipitate is developed on adding the lead acetate solution to the test solution, there, there are chances that your plant extract contains tannins. Similarly, we have another important test known as potassium dichromate, where we add potassium dichromate solution to the test solution. And if we have been able to see the red precipitate, then we can conclude that the tannins are present in the plant extract. Similarly, like tannins, we have another polyphenolic compound known as flavonoids, which are present in the plants. The colors which you see, the purple, red, green, or dark, maroon in the fruits, and similarly the yellow and white colors which are seen are all because of flavonoids. Flavonoids are divided into two types, the enthoxanthines and enthocyanines. Now we have certain important tests to identify the flavonoids. The first in that is known as Shinoda test. In this, we have to add magnesium turnings to the test solution and later add few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid. You may see the colors ranging from pink, then red, crimson red, scarlet pink, green or sometimes even blue. These suggest the presence of flavonoids in your plant extract. Similarly, we have another important test which is very simple and quick and that is called as alkaline reagent test. Over here, we have to use an alkaline reagent such as sodium hydroxide and add it to the test solution. If you get the yellow color which is much darker and uh, which become colorless on adding few drops of dilute acid, then it suggests the presence of flavonoids in your plant extract. We also have one more test known as zinc hydrochloride test. Over here, we add zinc dust to the test solution and after that, add few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid. If there is a presence or if you see the color changing from pink to red, then you can say that the test extract may contain flavonoids. So here we have completed with the major phytoconstituents and their identification using the chemical test. After going through lecture number one and two, you should answer the following questions. This will help you to understand whether you have got the topic. Okay, the question number one says, explain the difference between the primary and secondary metabolites. You can see video number one for the answers. Similarly, question two asks, explain the different tests, the various tests which we can use for identification of alkaloids in plant extract. For this, refer video number two. The third question 
ask explain the test which we used for differentiating between the two types of tannins that is hydrolyzable and condensed tannins for this once again you have to refer video number 2 try and find out without saying can you remember the various test which we have been utilizing for alkaloids and for tannins at the same time also try to see if you remember the significance of secondary metabolites and primary metabolites thank you very much here i am dr payal dande signing off happy learning